Their next possession. And how about the start so far, Charles? Three first half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team. Keep your offense moving at a really high level. And it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. Three touchdown passes, that's the way to lead. Now he's just hoping for number four. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now because is he rewarding himself for a great run or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Marquise Brown on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns as his guys continue to pour it on. That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with a touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage, probably taking advantage of their natural instinct after that previous play to be aggressive and rush towards the line of scrimmage. And instead, they were vulnerable to the pass. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the route is on here in this first half. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Jerry Rice, open right side. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Mahomes. Wide open receiver complete. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Mahomes hit, he lost the football. And the Falcons grab it, weaving through traffic, and now he's free. And this is going to be brought back. It's a scoop and score for the Falcon TD. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. And when you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the Let's half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Final 17 seconds of the half here as they come up to the line, first and 10. False start, offense. And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Pro bowler C.J. Mosley, the Ravens' leading tackler last year, up to make the stop. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this, is a do I'm doing it, <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often 
talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mahomes going to throw. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. On second down, this is Jackson. Down to the 25. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Mahomes now to throw. They'll set up the screen for Freeman. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. So it's an empty possession there, and you have to say it's not like him to come up short on a kick like that. Yeah, and it's real easy for me to say this, but anything in the 40 to 49-yard range should be pretty automatic for an NFL kicker, especially in terms of at least getting it there. So you're right. That is a surprise that this will come up short. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. He's got a first down and then sub inside the 40. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 53 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. 27 yards there, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. On the draw, this will be Freeman. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Freeman again, a first down carry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Back now at Soldier Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And the Falcons grab it. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. 
but it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the first quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. It's always been funny to me, Brandon, when coaches always talk about on hot days like the one we have here, oh, it's hot for both teams. But when one team has the advantage, when one team is running the ball really well and closing things out, it's hotter for the defensive side, and they sag a lot quicker. Yeah, they say the dog days of August, the heat we're seeing here today, dog days of September, and the advantage right now on the offensive side. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now it's Kamara in the passing game. And now running right through it. 15 yards on the play, first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. As many games as the two of us do, I would hope that one day we'll be able to solve this riddle. Why is it on a hot day that one team has more trouble with the heat than another? And especially when you can't stop a guy running the ball. You know it's September in the booth, though, when you and I have both removed our coats, and those were <laughs> gone in the first quarter. They were gone in the first quarter, and what we're watching now is a defense mentally giving in and sagging a little bit because they haven't been able to stop it. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great comedy. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And out now come the Vikings. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this, and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. They completed the screen, but one of the things you worry about is can the quarterback get rid of the ball before he's actually tackled? So your offensive lineman have to hold up the rushers a little bit because you want to make sure you keep your... Mahomes hit. He lost the football. 
call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory.